Hi, guys, it's Carol. Well, that's not me in the picture. That's my daughter, Casey. Um, but it's Carol. How you doing? Casey is modeling the apron I made for my son in Seattle. The top in this picture looks weird. It's just, I don't know. In person, it looks correct when I when I ironed it, you know, when I made it. It just looks funny on Casey. But anyway, I promise it's straight across the top. Anyway, got that done, ready to send off, but I have a, a story to tell you about mail. Casey ordered some things from Amazon that would have fit in a large flat envelope. Friday, she got the mail, and there was the envelope in the mailbox, empty as could be, not a thing in that envelope. And our local post office wrote down the name of the post office and the date and put empty and unsealed. It had been sealed at some time and somebody had opened it somewhere along the way through the postal system and took the stuff out or it fell out or something, but it had been cut open. Isn't that crazy? But anyway, back to the aprons. Thank you to some subs. You answered some questions, some problems. You solved some problems I was having. You told me about some thread and some other things, and that was a really big help. Uh, I rested a lot this week. I just had to. I just, my body hurt all over. But anyway, for the first time, I made this apron right here from start to finish, from putting the fabric, the pattern on the fabric to finishing it up. In two hours and 38 minutes on Pinterest, it said it was an apron that should take one hour, but it took me two hours and 38 minutes. That's okay. I got, got it all finished because of your help. I appreciate it. This is one of my favorite fabrics. I really like that. This is the apron that's going to my son's girlfriend in Seattle. Anyway, um, making this one was a joy. It was really fun to make this apron because I didn't have to rip out any stitches. The bobbin gave me no trouble at all for the first time in weeks. Thread did not break. Sewing machine didn't constantly come unthreaded. Uh, I tell you, this has been a stressful project, but finally making this apron, everything went smoothly. Whew, boy, was I glad. But anyway, I really like this fabric. I've already shown you mine, and I've shown you Taylor's apron. So I have my daughter-in-law's to make, and Casey needs to make hers, and Becky needs to make hers. I may end up making them for him. Casey's going through a really rough period right now. But anyway, this apron was a joy to make because finally everything was working. So hallelujah. Here's where I've been sewing. I have the card table in front of this window. I haven't opened the curtains this morning, but right in front of that window so I can get a little natural sunlight. So that's where I've been sewing and ironing and cutting and doing stuff. The dogs went to the groomers, so they're all clean and pretty. And because I'm not in the middle of enough projects, I decided it'd be a good idea to make some cards. Yes, I've got sewing and card material and this stuff I'm sending to Seattle. <laughs> and I'm making cards. <laughs> Good grief. I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They were 40% off or maybe 50. They were not $7.49 anyway. They were at least 40% off. And it says flat cards and envelopes. 50 pack, 100 pieces. I thought it would be, I didn't understand flat card meant a plain piece of paper. <laughs> a nice envelope, but a plain piece of paper, not a folding card. <laughs> Good grief. I made a couple of cards. These are 3D leaves, so I'm only sending those in, like in the box to Seattle, where I don't have to pay extra postage for those leaves sticking up. Um, I kind of worry about that. But anyway, I'm just dabbling in everything. I feel very 
discombobulated because I'm doing dishes and laundry and cards and sewing and wrapping some Christmas presents and just reading and uh, I just need to get a grip, <laughs> get a hold of myself and calm down and do one thing at a time. But anyway, I am working on the aprons. I'll have them done this week now that the sewing machine is working. And it was never this sewing machine. It was totally operator error, but I'm learning. Today was an absolutely gorgeous day. The high was 82. Remember, last Sunday was 30. Tomorrow's going to be 87. So the dogs and I spent some time out on the patio on the porch swing. It was so nice to soak up some sun. And, uh... I guess that's about all that's going on, this, that, and the other. Just, I feel like I'm meeting myself coming and going. But anyway, everything's good. I'm good. Dogs are good. Grandkids are good. Oh, my son and daughter-in-law and the kids took me out to see the property they bought out in the country. That was so nice to get a ride out of town. It's 30 miles out of town. It was so nice to get out of my apartment and get to go for that ride with them and go see their property. Uh, I showed you a picture of it uh, quite a few videos back. It's just flat, empty land out there. But I got to go see it anyway. So that was my weekend. I hope you're doing good. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.